In a world where all the natural signals are analog in nature, be it temperature or sound waves, the importance of analog engineering cannot be overstated. From refining sound quality in speakers to shaping the fundamental controls of our devices, analog engineering shapes the way we experience technology. Texas Instruments stands as a beacon of innovation in the semiconductor realm, pioneering breakthroughs that shape the very fabric of modern technology, from embedded systems to analog design and beyond. TI's commitment to excellence is the driving force behind their cutting-edge solutions that power everyday devices we rely on. As we explore the interview process, remember that embodying TI's values and showcasing your unique potential is key to making a lasting impression. So, without further ado, let's explore the path to achieving success in the TI interview guided by our interviewer. Hello and welcome to Texas Instruments Interview Insights. I am Prabish Makancheri and I am thrilled to be your guide through this informative journey. With multiple years of experience in the semiconductor industry and a passion for identifying exceptional talent, I am excited to share some tips and first-hand experiences that will empower you to shine in the Texas Instruments interview process. Let's get right into it. First and foremost, let's talk about what approach you can take to solve the problem. To understand this, we have Keshav Goel here who is going to help us break down the process. That is correct. Before we get into it, let's acknowledge the fact that it's completely natural to feel nervous before and during an interview. Even the most seasoned professionals have been there. Remember, these nerves simply show that you care about making a positive impression. Take a deep breath, trust in your preparation and let your passion and knowledge shine. Once we have taken care of that, we move on to the next step to understand the approach through which you will solve your problem. Begin with articulating your thoughts verbally or internally right away and don't hesitate to seek clarification through questions whenever uncertainty arises. The next parameter is how organized is your thought process? To demonstrate your thought process, create clear and organized block diagrams and guide the interviewer through your solution step by step. For online interviews, leverage an online whiteboard to enhance your explanations. Approach each question methodically, investing time to thoroughly comprehend the inquiry. Jot down all the pertinent information to streamline your thought process. Even if a question seems familiar, view it with a fresh perspective as added complexities might arise. During our interviews, we also frequently emphasize the importance of a clear problem-solving approach and a deep understanding of circuit fundamentals, such as RLC circuits and op-amps. Can you highlight any distinctions that you've observed between the approach taught in academic coursework and the one we employ in TI interviews? As an analog engineer, it's crucial to optimize various key performance parameters such as accuracy, stability, speed, and power consumption. Making the right engineering choices to achieve the best performance while managing the trade-offs is vital. I have encountered interviews that involved in-depth analysis of step and frequency responses as well as stability of active networks, where theoretical knowledge was crucial in finding optimal solutions. At this point, we'll assess how a candidate handles their mistakes, as they are an inevitable part of any job. It is not the mistake itself, but how you react to it that truly matters. Yes, absolutely. Even if a mistake occurs, ensure it doesn't overshadow the quality of your subsequent answers. The interviewer places greater emphasis on your correct responses rather than occasional misstep. Moving forward, two key traits of a proficient engineer are their commitment to high standards and their reliability. Trustworthiness is vital. When they mark a task as completed, it reflects meticulous work and integrity. During your solution presentations, we will closely observe these qualities to gain insight into your dedication to excellence and what you consider a job well done. Ensure utmost relevance to the question in your solution. Prioritize your problem-solving approach over the final answer. Strive for optimal, high-quality solutions 
by addressing all the requirements and considering provided information. Continuously evaluate if a more optimal solution exists and aim for excellence always. Let's talk about an important default scenario in the industry. What do you do with a problem when you don't know the approach beforehand? The first step would be to ask clarifying questions to have a good grasp at the problem statement stage itself. Post which, if the solution is not known, discuss with the interviewer to get directed towards the starting point of the analysis. Stay calm and communicate to the interviewer that you are having a problem getting to the solution. Pick up on the hints. This is essential because ultimately TI evaluates how a candidate handles situations that fall outside their knowledge base. When faced with an unfamiliar topic, openly inform the interviewer. The focus of the interview is primarily on evaluating your problem-solving abilities rather than just your knowledge. When tackling a challenging problem, rely on your foundational knowledge, utilize hints if needed and make an attempt. Even if the solution is not reached, explain your approach to the interviewer as your problem-solving method holds significance. Last but not the least, a crucial parameter we check for is how you deal with incremental information that is provided to you. When incremental information is provided, think about what has changed from before and how it's going to affect your previous solution. Sometimes nothing changes. That is true, your intuition and confidence matters at every point of the interview. And with that, that's it for now. We will see you at TI. All the best.